war. War never changes. In the year 1945, my great-great-grandfather, serving in the army, wondered when he'd get to go home to his wife and the son he'd never seen. He got his wish when the U.S. ended World War II by dropping atomic bombs on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. The world awaited Armageddon. Instead, something miraculous happened. We began to use atomic energy not as a weapon, but as a nearly limitless source of power. People enjoyed luxuries once thought the realm of science fiction. Domestic robots, fusion-powered cars, portable computers. But then, in the 21st century, people awoke from the American dream. Years of consumption led to shortages of every major resource. The entire world unraveled. Peace became a distant memory. It is now the year 2077. We stand on the brink of total war. And I am afraid for myself, for my wife, for my infant son. Because if my time in the army taught me one thing, it's that war, war never changes. War never changes. You're gonna knock him dead at the Veterans Hall tonight, hun. You think? Absolutely. Now get ready and stop hogging the mirror. Right. My turn, big guy. I'll just be a minute. Ah, good morning, Mom. Your coffee. 173.5 degree Fahrenheit. Brewed to perfection. And today's newspaper just delivered. Our government has police too. Grognak the Barbarian and the Jungle of the Bat Babies. <laughs> Codsworth? Enjoy your coffee, Mum. Hun? Do I look nervous? I look nervous, don't I? Now, don't you touch the laundry. <laughs> I'll take care of it. Hey, Codsworth. I'll be sweeping. 
setting up the falls later. Salesman again. I don't know why he keeps bothering you. Good morning! Vault Tech calling. Vault Tech? Remind me again. Why, we're about you, ma'am, and helping secure your future. You see, Vault Tech is the foremost builder of state of the art underground fallout shelters. Vaults, if you will. Luxury accommodations where you can wait out the horrors of nuclear devastation. You can't begin to know how happy I am to finally speak with you. I've been trying for days. It's a matter of utmost urgency, I assure you. I'm here now. So you are. <laughs> so you are. Now I know you're a busy woman, so I won't take up much of your time. Time being, um, <laughs> a precious commodity. I'm here today to tell you that because of your family service to our country, you have been pre-selected for entrance into the local vault. Vault 111. But I have a family. You can fit us all, right? Of course, of course. Minus your robot, naturally. In fact, you're already cleared for entrance. It's just a matter of verifying some information. Don't want there to be any holdups in the unforeseen event of <laughs> total atomic annihilation. <laughs> Won't take but a moment. Tell me more about this vault. Oh, it has all the amenities of the modern home, I assure you. Not to mention total protection from nuclear radiation and hostile mutants. A better future underground. It's not only our mission, it's our passion. The apocalypse? Well, hell, sign me up. <laughs> <laughs> That's the spirit. Now, let's see. Wonderful. That's everything. Uh, just gonna walk this over to the vault. Congratulations on being prepared for the future. Um, thanks again. Hey, it's peace of mind. That's worth a little paperwork, right? For you and Sean, no price is too high. <laughs> Good answer. I have my moments. in a second to help, okay? My boy isn't giving his mother any trouble, is he? Hey, I fixed that mobile on his crib the other day. Why don't you give it a spin? That's my boy, on his best behavior, just like his dad. Well, most of the time. Listen, after breakfast, I was thinking we could head to the park for a bit. Weather should hold up. Sounds like fun. Sir? Mom? You should come and see this! Codsworth? What's wrong? Followed by... Yes, followed by flashes, blinding flashes. Sounds of explosions. We're, uh, trying to get confirmation. 
We seem to have lost contact with our three say? stations. We do, we do have, we do have coming in. That's, um, confirmed reports, I repeat, confirmed reports of nuclear detonations in New York and Pennsylvania. My God. Oh my God. We need to get to the vault. Now! I've got Sean. Let's go. Residents of Sanctuary Hills, if you are registered, evacuate to Vault 111 immediately. Infant, adult male, adult female. Okay, go ahead. Thank you. Good luck, sir. You two, follow me. Come on. on. What's going to happen to all those people outside We're the gate? We're doing everything we can. Now Sway. keep moving. Ma'am, we need to send you down to the vault. Step on the platform. Step on the platform in the center. Almost there. Is Sean okay? He's fine. We're gonna be okay. I love you. Oh my god! in your new home. Vault 111. A better future underground. So we just... Yes, up the stairs. I can't believe it. We left a minute later. Oh, no, no, no. Don't get caught up thinking you. about that. Just You're safe now. Please proceed in an orderly fashion. This good. This way. This way, please. Step over to the table. You'll need your suits before we can take you further. Thanks. What now? Just follow the doctor here. He'll show you where to go. All right, you three. Follow me. See? This is our new home. Oh, you're gonna love it. This is one of our most advanced facilities. Not that the others aren't great, mind you. It's gone. Our home. Everything they had. My mother and father down in DC. How long do you think we'll be down here? Oh, we'll be going over all that in orientation. Just a few medical items we have to get through first. It's a good fit. Just yeah, checking right? everyone the off the list as they come in. To be fashionable as well as comfortable. Prepared for the future, right? Excuse me. This way, please. Just step in here, and put your vault suit on. The pod will decontaminate and depressurize you before we head deeper in the vault. Just relax. Time for a whole new life. Resident secure. Occupant vitals normal. Procedure complete. In five, four, three, two, one.
no use. Roaches? What the hell? should open this. Nice. Coming back later for you. only had a bobby pin. What happened here? Where is everyone? All that's left?
Codsworth, what happened to the world? The world, Mum? Well, besides our geraniums still being the envy of Sanctuary Hills, I'm afraid things have been dreadfully dull around here. Things will be so much more exciting with you and Sir back. Where is your better half, by the by? They... They killed him. Oh, Mum, these things you're saying, these, these terrible things, I, I believe you'll need a distraction. Yes, a distraction to calm this, this dire mood. It's been ages since we've had a proper family activity. Checkers, or, or perhaps charades. Oh, Sean does so love that game. <laughs> is, is the lad uh, with you? Sean's been kidnapped. And I'm gonna find him. I'm gonna get my baby back. It's worse than I thought. Mm -hmm. You're suffering from hunger-induced paranoia. Not eating properly for 200 years will do that, I'm afraid. <laughs> 200 years? What? Are you sure? A bit over 210, actually, Mum. Give or take a little for the Earth's rotation and some minor dings to the old chronometer. <laughs> that means you're uh, two centuries late for dinner. <laughs> Perhaps I can whip you up a snack if you must be famished. Codsworth, you're acting a little weird. What's wrong? I... I... Just horrible. Two centuries with no one to talk to, no one to serve. I spent the first ten years trying to keep the floors waxed, but nothing gets out nuclear fallout from vinyl wood. <laughs> nothing. And don't get me started about the futility of dusting a collapsed house <laughs> and the car. The car! How do you polish rust? Stay with me, pal. Focus. I'm afraid I don't know anything, Mum. The bombs came and all of you left in such a hurry. I thought for certain you and your family were, were dead. I, I did find this hollow tape. I believe Sir was going to present it to you as a, as a surprise. But then, well, everything happened. A holotape? What's on it? I believe it's a private message for you. My etiquette protocols would not permit me to play it for myself. Any standard holotape reading device should be able to play it back. Oh, like that pip boy on your arm. That should work brilliantly. Now, enough feeling sorry for myself. Shall we search the neighborhood together? Sir and young Sean may turn up yet. Have you seen anything dangerous? Oh, just the usual, Mum. Pesky neighborhood dogs and mosquitoes. Shall I investigate? There's nothing left here. It's all gone. If you wish to venture to parts unknown, I won't stop you. I shall guard the neighborhood in your absence. Codsworth. Mum, give me the word, Mum, and I'll initiate my search for calls. All right. Lead the way. Proud to serve, Mum. <laughs> <laughs> 